السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Welcome guys Today we're going to talk about Tertullian's understanding of the Trinity Tertullian, do you know who this guy is? Tertullian, he was the early church father and some people even attributed to him like he was the one that came up with that term of the Trinity, right? And uh, even though some people argue that there was a earlier one, Theophilus or something like this of Antioch that actually came up with that term. Now, Many of them don't realize that Tertullian's understanding of the Trinity is totally different from the way they, they understand the Trinity. So that's what we're going to talk about today. In a, uh, in a nutshell, what he was saying is that the Son and the Spirit, they are proper parts of the Father. Okay, listen to that. The Son and the Spirit, they are proper parts of the Father. Now, what does this all mean? I'll show you. Just uh, So what he's saying is this, guys. You know, normally you think there are three persons, right? These three persons, they are distinct three persons. They are not the same, but they have the same essence and stuff like that, right? What if they are one? There's only one thing and Father. The Father is the one thing. The Son and the Holy Spirit, they are parts or portion. That's exactly the word he used of the Father. Now, where is this getting this, uh, this from? Listen to what, <laughs> what Tetrigon's argument was. He believed everything as a is made up of uh, up of some kind of material. Okay, so you you are made up of some kind of material, matter, and everything in the universe, including angels and spirits. They are made up of some kind of maybe not the same kind of matter that we have, but some kind of other different material, including even God. That's what he was saying. Now, with this idea, and there's only one God. If there's only one God, now he said, "I'm not a modalist." So he was writing against the modalist, of course. This is where some people don't get it. Even though he was writing against the modalists, listen to what he was thinking, really. So he believed there's one entity, God, who is the Father. Father, okay? Now, in the Father, there's the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the Father, okay? The Son and the Holy Spirit, they are portion, a smaller sort of portion of the Father. Okay, that's exactly what he thought. Tertullian, okay? He was uh, living in Carthage, North Africa, okay? Because he was influenced by, uh, I think, his Stoicism. That things about things that they didn't think material was bad, so they didn't have any problem with God being uh, made up of some kind of material. But that's not the point I want to show you guys in this video. The point I want to show you is that even though he believed in the Trinity, see the way he understood it. The way he's talking about the Trinity is about one entity that has. Imagine me, my head, my shoulder, my <laughs> my two my two hands, me and my two hands. My two hands are a part of me, but they are not. You, do you understand? A part of me. Physi like my physical limbs, right? There's only one entity, me, and then I have two limbs. Now, can you call my hand God? That's the problem. <laughs> you see? So, what is the way he's thinking about the Trinity is that the Son and the Holy Spirit, they are like a portion of the Father. And if I can just show you guys real quick, I'll show you uh, a picture of one of the uh, one of the scholars, the way he portrays it. Let me show you guys. I've actually shown it in another video, but I just felt like I wanted to Okay, can you see this picture? Look, look at this picture. The first one over there, the first one that is a circle, that is the father, okay? Then inside the father, there's a kind of portion. The son and the Holy Spirit, they are inside the father. Okay, it's not like the father is also inside the, it's not like there's an entity called God and then there's father, son and Holy Spirit inside. No, it is the father and inside the father there's the son and Holy Spirit. That is what he was talking about. Okay, and even in this paper, if you want to read more about this, check this paper written by uh, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, written by Dr. Dale Toggy. Okay, you'll find it on the internet. Once you see this, you'll be like, Really? So this is what these guys were thinking about. And uh, these were the early Trinitarians, even though, see, the Trinitarian's view is like uh, kind of weird, to be frank. No one said, of the other church fathers I know, they didn't think about it like this. The other guys were much more influenced with uh, Logos theology. And in another video, I will discuss that. But I just want to show you this. The Trinitarian, one of the early church fathers, that is a quote-unquote Trinitarian, he was thinking about the Trinity like, the, father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, they are a part of the Father. See, even if you want to think about it in another way, me and my soul, and my soul and my spirit, we are not three persons, 
there's only one person there it's just my soul and my spirit and that's why some people even think like it's kind of modalistic but to me it's not even modalistic it's just partialism simple partialism if you see the picture i just showed you uh the father is the real entity there the son and the Holy Spirit, they are just a portion of the father and that's exactly the same the word that i used in fact let me quote it for you guys so that you you will see what he's saying okay so he's saying this i'm quoting that paper this paper now it says tertullian believes under the influence of stoic philosophy tertullian believes that all real things are material god is a spirit but a spirit is a material uh, is a kind of material okay a final sort of mat of matter okay so he said at the beginning god is alone Fa the father is alone though he has his own reason within him so the father's reason is within the father then when it is time to create he brings the son into existence how using but not losing remember that using but not losing a portion of his spiritual matter okay then the son using a portion of the divine matter shared with him brings into existence the spirit and the two of them are god's instrument his agent in the creation and governance of the cosmos listen to that that's just partialism pure partialism right there the f using but not losing so when it's time to create the father uses uh, brings forth the son but it is the already existing matter that was already there but he didn't lose it it's just extended out and that's why you see like uh, this picture shows it like that i don't want to make it too long anyway so this is to show you that if, if you read the works of the earliest uh, trinitarians you see like they have very uh, different view compared to uh, after nicaea the way he later became and you will not find any of them that is orthodox i've not seen even one i've not seen one early church father that is orthodox if we want to scrutinize their works and what they were saying about the trinity is it that they are subordinationists or you have something like tertullian here okay because if you use logos theology and uh, middle platonism that most of them were using or new platonism you will have a subordinationist uh, uh hierarchy where the father will be greater than the son and the holy spirit just like origin of alexandria said And those that followed him or you have this kind of uh one where there's they're just proper parts of the father let me see what you guys think about this did you know this before push uh put it in your comment section assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh